Right, so this video is all about zone two and how hard you should ride it. Now, there are a lot of questions about this and not many answers. So we're going to go through a couple of different people and kind of different training, not philosophies, but just kind of, kind of ideas. So team and Aaronsman at the Ineos camp. Obviously, these are always kind of hard to compare because they are like in a training camp. So it's kind of more useful when you see them on your own. But what you'll see is like these guys are riding really easy, right? So like this is like like three watts per kilo average, 230 normalized, like that's so easy for these guys. And um, yeah, like not very hard all in all, um, except this one climb, like which is four watts per kilo, like any amateur could get around this, no stress at all. Uh, like obviously when he's riding on the front, uh, this looks like he's riding on the front, he's riding 211 watts. Uh, I mean, that is very, very chill. I think maybe, well, that's again a climb. How hard is he going to climb? Like four watts per kilo again. So super easy, like really like kind of like 50% of threshold easy. Um, so yeah, now we're going to go over to one of Dr. Inigo Samalan's riders. Um, if you don't know Dr. Inigo Samalan, he's the coach of UAE, but he's a big proponent of zone two, not just for training, but also for health. And you'll see Brandon McNulty, and this looks quite an easy ride necessarily. His threshold is like, I reckon, maybe more like, I want to say 450, but I think it might not be that high. Um, it might be a little bit less, but you'll see again, this is like, okay, it looks like 56%, but actually if you look at the ride here, it's more like 260 normal as he was just off road here, so couldn't really pedal on the downhill. But you'll see he rides really hard. And then we've got like this ride where he rides at like 280 normalized. And again, if we refresh this page, you'll see what kind of threshold it has. is a lot more like zone two. You see, this is like 61%, like actually zone two. And um, it might seem a small percentage, but like, why do these guys ride so hard? Now, it's an interesting point And like, why? Um, I guess the reason is it's zone two, like... You will see generally Brandon McNulty doesn't do as many hours. He might only do three and a half hours on an endurance ride, but it'll be a lot harder. Um, Tim uh, Tim Wellens did, also wrote an article about this. And he said like they ride a lot more like closer to their heart rate of like 70% and less like zone one. Um, so yeah, these are kind of two polarizing things. Like do you ride zone one or do you ride zone two? Do you ride the minimum amount to get adaptions, but do longer hours? Or do you ride like in the t zone to get adaptions? But maybe you get more tired. And again, it's kind of one of those things where no one really has an answer. I think personally, I think if you have more time, you actually can't ride zone two everywhere because you get too crap. You have to do a little bit more zone one. But I think if you've got less time, like normal people, definitely ride zone two.